out of Texas. John Brayer is on the way. I told him we'd stop. I know everybody is running wide open. Y'all, the next captain, of course, uh, I'm excited about him. But you know, someone who came to this with us and talked about the vision, that is what we're all about. Growing business, taking care of people. You can, what, what a business look for? They're looking for a well-educated to help your workers. This is someone who's not just taught that talk, but has walked that walk. Friends, if you had better yet, you need to. I know this is the royal choir. But I can't tell you how excited I am for our candidate, Lieutenant Hill. Sarah Riggs Amico. Come on! energy is going to permeate every polling place in every nook and cranny of this state and I want you to understand that this is just the tip of the iceberg. The blue wave is coming to Georgia and we're not only going to change our story, we're going to change the nation's electoral
but when Democrats win up and down the ballot this November, we're going to invest in our public schools like we've never done before in this state. from the number two place to do business in the country to number seven. It was the biggest fall of any state in the nation, five places. You want to know why? We got an A-plus for workforce. We got an A-plus for economy. We got a C-minus for education and a D for quality of life that goes straight to health care and education, and Democrats are the only party this year that will fix it. here in Georgia and anywhere in the great United States of America, a sick child in 2018 should be able to go to the doctor full stop. We have 63 counties in this state without a pediatrician. We have 79 counties without an OBGYN. Anyone who doesn't think we need more women in government, you need to go back and revisit those two stats. We've got 66 counties without a general surgeon, six with no doctor whatsoever. We've lost nine rural hospitals, six of them in the last five years. And I believe we can do better. I believe if we don't do better, we will create generational and structural impediments to economic development that will hobble and trap in generational poverty Georgians in rural parts of our state that will take a generation or more to fix. That's what we're going to do when we expand Medicaid. I believe expanding Medicaid will not only save our rural hospitals, will give us the opportunity to bring businesses back to our rural communities. It will provide families with access to the American dream. It will create jobs. It will stimulate our economy. And candidly, as a business owner and a business person for the last 15 years, I can tell you it is economically unintelligent not to take a 90% federally funded return of $33 billion of your tax money you've already paid. You, and I believe we all know that right now it simply isn't. We can and we must do better. We need to elect leaders who understand the evil of cash bail. We need to elect leaders who understand how police has not worked appropriately or in concert with our communities. We need to and they may have neither one of them on my watch. Yeah. I believe we were all created in the image of the same God and that to be racist or to continue to turn a blind eye to racist policies or unequal outcomes for people in communities of color is to literally be an affront to God. is to elect leader Stacey Abrams as the first woman to sit in the government. But she's going to need help, guys. She's going to need all of us. And she's not just going to need a lieutenant governor who can wrangle that state senate, put this riffraff style nonsense at the back of the queue for debate, and ensure it never sees the light of day in crossover. Never. Down the 
ballot, she's going to need public service commissioners who understand the pocketbook impact of every ounce of energy we use in the state and who actually look out for your interests. She's going to need an insurance and fire commissioner who actually believes the consumer's point of view is the most important one. He's going to need a secretary, a commissioner of agriculture who is going to look out for food safety, who's going to look into vertical farming and hydroponics and aquaponics because I believe the economy of the future is green and it is defends your rights and a Secretary of State who understands that access to the ballot box is foundational to who we are as a republic. And she's going to need a Commissioner of Labor who actually wants to work in partnership with our single best ally for retraining the workforce of the 21st century, our labor unions in every industry of the state. labor Democrat and yes those two things go together just as much as it is to be a pro-choice pro-labor pro-equality evangelical Christian I understand that's like a unicorn y'all but it's here I understand it but we are gonna have to work with our unions increasingly to talk about how we build for the 21st century economy those are the communities that we need to bring to the table in every corner of the state to ensure that Governor Stacey Abrams can move her agenda not only through the state legislature, but that she can actually enact the kind of change we know she's capable for the state of Georgia. So here's what I need from you today. I believe one more thing. I believe we cannot do it if we abide by the old adage of please don't talk politics. We can't do it, y'all. religion and politics. Every person in here who knows me knows I've never lived by that rule and I don't intend to start now. <laughs> but here's what's at stake. If we don't talk to our friends, our family, our neighbors, our colleagues, and explain what we believe and why it matters this year perhaps more than any other year in our life, we cannot have the kind of future we all share. The shared values that we have as Democrats are as central to core to being an American and being a Georgian as anything else. We have marched for women. We have marched for science. We have marched to keep families together. And now we need to fulfill our destiny in marching on those ballot boxes on November 6th. We have got to show Georgia who we are and who we could be with the right leadership. And if we do that, if you're willing to talk politics, make people uncomfortable, be the person at office, uh, at your house of worship if you have one, in your family, at the dinner table, at holidays, nothing should be off limits. Because who we are as a state and as a people is at stake. So I need you to tell others what you believe, what we believe as Democrats, and I need you to bring them to the polls. And when you do that, we will literally not only change the course of history in Georgia, but we will rewrite the electoral math for this entire nation. Nobody is expecting it here, and if it can be done in Georgia, everyone will have that core element to change and progress, which is the belief in the possible. That's what we're voting on. Democrat, I am proud to tell you that this year you have a coordinated campaign built off of the Stacey Abrams infrastructure and campaign that led to that incredible primary victory y'all saw that is going to take us well beyond your wildest expectations. It is well organized, it is well executed, it is well staffed, and more importantly, it's fighting all the right fights for all the right reasons. And when you do that, we will not lose. We will flip the state blue. We will prove that Casey Cagle was a nice experiment, but as the only Republican lieutenant governor in the history of the state of Georgia, we can all agree it was a mistake. We tried different, and we love y'all for the guys, but let's all agree after looking at the candidates late this year, democracy is saved, the women are here, y'all.